Hey guys, today I just wanted to show you five creative ways to make money while traveling offline. Um, now, of course, we talk a lot about making money online while traveling um, for the freedom of it. Um, and because that's that's how we do it. Um, but of course, there are a lot of you out there who don't prefer to sit on a computer all day um, while you could be out immersing yourselves um, in the local community and meeting new people. So um, while if you want to make money while traveling, you need to be a little bit creative because um, there are a lot of people who are trying to do the same thing as you. So you've got options such as um, au pairing, woofing, um, working in hospitality, bars, etc. But um, the positions are limited. You know, you know, if you're traveling to somewhere a little bit more rural or a smaller town, it's it's not quite likely that you're going to find anything. So you need to sort of be a little bit creative um, and think of ways that you can do something alone to make money while traveling. So here I'm going to give you five um, different ideas that I've come up with myself. Um, and then I've got 16 more on the blog um, that I will give you the link to below. So my first one is to teach a language. So you can either do this in a workshop sort of style at your guest house or hostel. Um, you could um, talk to your the manager, um, see if you can get, get a little bit of a group together, um, go and promote yourself out in the town, put a few posters up, um, and sort of bring it, bring a few people in and do a bit of a conversational workshop where you um, get them to learn a little bit of your language. Um, there's a lot of people, a lot of travelers who are willing and really enthusiastic to learn a new language, especially if they're traveling to somewhere where their native language isn't uh, widely spoken. So that would probably be a great way to find some money fast um, and, and get a, you know, give some value to people and, and do something very beneficial for yourself and others. Um, there's also many schools, there's always local schools that are looking for language teachers. Um, so you, that's an option, you could go around and connect with some local schools and see if they would like some help, a native speaker to teach some language. Or you could um, go out and connect with the local community and see if anyone would like some private tutoring. Um, because there are many people out there that would very much benefit from learning another language. For example, um, in English, it's the most widely spoken language in the world. Um, you can, if you can teach someone some English, you're definitely going to give them more opportunities with um, jobs, etc., traveling around the world. Um, so definitely more, um, a beneficial thing to do um, to make some money while traveling and also a great way for you to learn some new things to and connect with people. So that's my first one, teaching a language uh, while traveling. My second one would be to um, start up some workshops. Um, depending on what your skills or talents are, um, there, there are, also, there are going to be a lot of people out there who probably want to learn the same thing. So whether you're good at fire spinning, music, um, art, crafts, start a work, do a workshop, get some people um, into your guest house um, and, and teach them what you know and there's a, there's a lot of people out there who will, who will be very eager to do this because um, if, you've, if you've noticed, if you've been traveling, many people like to sort of get in touch with their creative sides while, um, like while they're on the move because it's sort of a time to take a break from the, the uh, routine of normality and and go out and try some new things so um, if you can if you can get some people to harness their inner creativity creativeness then um, yeah, this would be a very nice thing to do and a great way to make some cash while traveling um, so that's my second one do some workshops my third one would be if um, if you've had some experience with children babysitting is a great one to do um, the, the, the pay isn't really great but um, it will pay for some meals and especially I mean I did some babysitting in Southeast Asia and it did pay for a few meals and it was and the, the best thing about it was that I made some new friends and I and I really sort of got, uh, got we we got in touch a little bit more with the local community you know, there were Thai people and we got to hang out with their family and see what they do and, and you know we made some really nice friends so um, that's, a, that's a really nice way to also, if, if you, you can teach, if you're a babysitting, you can also teach them a bit of your language and at the same time you can learn a lot from them as well. 
Um, so that's a nice way, just uh, maybe a few nights a week, just to make some, a little bit more money to pay for some meals. Um, so that's my third one, babysitting. My fourth one would be if, um, if you've got any kind of profession really, you can probably take it on the road. For example, hairdressing. Um, there are many travelers out there who need a haircut. Trust me. I mean, Dan, he used to have dreadlocks and he tried to cut them all off himself and it turned out a mess. So it would have been very, very beneficial if he would have had a hairdresser around. I mean, there are local hairdressers, but you just, people don't really think about going to them and also it's the cost. So if you can, if you can sit in your guest house and um, put the word out a little bit in town, put a sign out and say, I'm doing haircuts this week, uh, this weekend for a cheaper price, you're probably going to have a lot of people turn up at your door. Um, and, and it's a fun way to sort of um, still keep doing what you love to do back home, but you can do it while you travel. Um, so that's my fourth one, haircutting. My fifth one would be to uh, consulting. Consulting is a really great way to create, you know, to really help people. And um, it's a ni really nice way to make money, actually, because um, there's a lot of people out there who, who might need help in their relationship or, or their business or with their health. If you know anything about anything, really, there's probably someone who wants to know about it. So if you can, if you can create value and, and help people and share your knowledge with them, this is a really nice way to make some money. So... Um, maybe, yeah, again, put, put the word out through town, put some posters up and say you do some, you can do some consulting by the hour, um, over the weekend in your hostel and, um, and, and see it, there's, there'll probably be quite a lot of people who would be interested in having a word to you. So, um, yeah, so if you can create value, it's very beneficial for you and, uh, for them and you as well. It's a nice thing for you to do. So that's my five. So first one is teaching a language. My second one is running workshops. Third is babysitting. Fourth is, what was my fourth one, Dan? Consulting. No, my fourth one was haircutting. <laughs> and my fifth one was consulting. Now I've got 16 more on the blog, 21 creative ways to make money while traveling offline. So if you uh, scroll down below and click on the link, it will take you to my blog post. And um, in a, shortly, in maybe a few days, I will put another one up on how to make money while traveling online, um, just to give you the option. Um, so yes, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon don't forget to go down uh, scroll down and click on the link below to take you to the blog thank you